Hey everybody, this is Quimpact with Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. And we have the future ahead of us. As always, the future is ahead of us, but we have to check it because it said, Hey, there's something with your future. It's different. After I went and repaired that church, <laughs> town status went up like a crazy motherfucker. So let's uh, go check that out, huh? Eh? What? So what's going on, guys? That's Lao Chow's, isn't it? He has the point. <sighs> now that's something I never learned in my common life. Could you explain to me what the difference of a restaurant and a bistro is? I'm sure they're the same thing at the core, but still. If you had to come up with different words for it, then there had to be some reason. Smells very delicious, I understand. You, you you sniff you sniff all day, Max. You sniff all day. Can we cure Lin yet? I hope we can cure Lin. Lin is what we want to cure, so You know that. We know that, I know that, so do you. You know that. No chess. Hmm. Disappoint. The intense amount of disappointment will be refreshed, I guess, from story plot advancement. Since we haven't really been doing much of that, have we? It's like, one day, I'll reach chapter 4. A day is a long way from here. See what happens when Ku tries to follow a schedule? He was supposed to make a Roller Coaster Tycoon video today. He just simply doesn't have it in him. Although I kept the cycle for a little while, which makes me proud of myself. But I'm playing the PS2 already, I might as well just make a bunch of PS2 videos. Why not? He's going to bring the doom and upbringing of us. He kind of looks like Ferdinand. Get the joke? Get it? His voice does not fit what he looks like. Just saying. The Lucky Panda. Oh, Kung Fu Panda. Oof. The Miracle... How does Monica know about a Miracle Dish? Wait. I wish I could help you, but there's a special ingredient I need to make my Miracle Dish. Exactly. Special ingredient? To make my miracle dish, I need a white windflower. Which are extinct. People say that it's extinct now. You can't find it anywhere at all. Then how do people still hear him making the dish? A white windflower. That's exactly the problem. Well, we seen one of these in an earlier video. Just we didn't see it. I hate that place. It's officially one of the mains of mankind. Time manipulation. Okay, period. We'll see what we can do. Okay, Rao Chow. You can see what we do. A little bit of lag, as always, as usual. So a little bit of lag. Just a tiny bit. It'll happen from time to time, sadly. Can't be perfect. You, when when did you get here? Uh, well, that's what I was talking about, those like moon, moon bunny people. See? They're bunnies. They have bunny heads. They just hide under cloaks. They've always been like this since the first game. I found a potato pie. Awesome. More defense for Max? More defense for Max. dangerous out there take this with you but it's not dangerous to go alone because we're not going alone they're just it's me and Monica and Max and there there is no aloneness in this game it's a weird buddy system there are a lot more characters in the first game that's all I'll say but there was no ride pod so they lost its steampunk element but 
I guess that makes sense. You age into steampunk, you don't age backwards into it. Hello. What, what shop is this? Oh, you're just talking about Crest. Crest is dead. What if you, what if you guys don't know about this? Awesome. A great selection of weaponry. That is a Svita stick. What? But I haven't even started Svita yet. Oh, cool. But we can buy armband repair powders here. You know what? I'm going to buy armband repair powders here. Might as well. Get some fanciful armbands, but none of them better than mine. Currently, the platinum armband is the highest armband we have. No matter how much that weapon shop man thinks he can, you know, pawn it off to us as. And this is the gate. Awesome. Okay, so I didn't miss anything, did I? Whoa. Hope I didn't. I guess enough future venture. Let's go back to the dungeon and do some shit. You know what? I'm not touching Sphita yet. Even though I can, and I know the people who've played this game know I can, I'm not. I'm gonna reach a different point in the dungeon before I go there. But hey to pie. Max is up to 24 defense. He's pretty much unstoppable. Except I can still die if I get gang raped by enemies. That's totally possible. Or two King Mimics. Two King Mimics is pretty much enough damage to kill me. And that's how it all happened. I was done in by two King Mimics on this next dungeon floor. I don't know of this yet, but I'm not too sure if that will or won't happen. What is the floor name again? We're the Roly Poly Brothers? Oh, that's bad. It's got these little charger stone guys. Yeah. I'm sure some people will recognize them from the first game. The Ivanoffs. To the dungeon floor. Ugh, load time. CD. Games. There we go. For a second I thought it froze. I was like, oh, that's bad. Where are the roly poly bro? What did I say? Done in by mimics. Oh, shit. I didn't see him or hear him. What the hell? Game didn't even warn me. Usually you can hear those guys like charging up, but I, I don't know. Like, I guess the sounds of the mimic were above him? Awesome. Right away we got the geostone. Nothing to worry about, even though I pretty much completed the town. I'm still going to be collecting all the geostones. Ow. Jerk. Why you gotta be such a jackass elephant? Why you gotta be a jackass? Why you not dead yet? Monica definitely does kill those faster. I guess it's all the beast slayer in her sword. It makes sense. Remember, note to self. Don't fight elephants with a hammer. It doesn't work. A sword works perfectly fine. I got four breads, though, which is nice. I've got a lot of paint on my hand. I got another Mimic ready to kill my ass. Good job, Mimic. Oh, man. Hoo-ha. Better, 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 I see. Every time a mimic animation happens, it slows down. This is getting ridiculous. How many mimics do I have to smash with my hammer before I get a non-mimic chest? I'm gonna count two more right there. You're counting as mimics already. I haven't even opened you yet. Thank goodness. Ugh. Fail chest opens. I don't know why I couldn't open that chest. I couldn't tell you why I couldn't open that chest. I had a hard time turning towards it, I guess. I don't know. Who doesn't know what he's doing? That's a good answer. I've been off. I've met you again. You're not going to roly-poly me this time. Nope. Denied. Hammer beats rock. 
Ooh, a Priest of Rama. Is this the first one we've seen? I'm not too sure, but let me explain Priests of Rama. They heal, they heal each other as well as heal other enemies. And even more so, when you kill them, they drop cheeses. That's what I want. Lots of free cheeses. I ground up the 20 cheeses on these guys. There's a later floor where we'll have a lot more of them to kill and less of a problem. Oh look, he healed his friend up. What a jackass. Why did you even? Why did you even? Hate you healing type enemies. There were ones later in the game, they still drop cheeses from what I recall. I don't think they drop premium chickens, which is a disappointment. Because I was always hoping for that. Instead, I totally acrobatic that mimic to death with my gun. I'm usually terrible at the acrobatics in this game. Sometimes I don't know what triggers them and what, I, what doesn't. Good, you didn't get pushed in and waste the healing. Actually, I don't think she can if she hasn't taken damage. Although, I might be completely wrong. Well, let's crack a coconut, guys. And yes, I know they're boulders. <clears throat> I really don't want to do my donkey horse Marge voice. I really don't want to do it. And that was a well-spent repair powder. I think that was a good exchange. I got one for free, and I used one to heal up my weapon no matter how damaged it was. Yeah! Management. Management of items. It's something you need in RPGs. It's something I need to do better in Septeracore. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I'm managing my items very well. It's like, oh, I've got money. Let's blow it all on armor. Then it all vanishes, and I'm like, hey, where'd all my money go? Ugh, that fixed my weapons anyways. I guess it was a waste. I was hoping for abs. It didn't give me abs. It's always weird to say abs, because abs is an acronym in this. I was hoping that thing would give me abs. Like, give me all this six-pack and everything. That ram actually got a hit on me. Gun, just level up. Yeah, like that. Level up. Weapons that level up with you. It's a strange concept. I kind of enjoy the customize, like the customability of the weapon. Because I just love to put whatever the hell I want on these weapons. Once I get them like full build, I mean. There's going to be extra points all the time. And at that point, you can just pump whatever the hell you want up. I usually like to bring up Breaker a lot. Because Breaker hurts a lot of things in the late game. There's a lot of sturdy enemies or ones with high defense. Thick hide and all that nonsense. Where the gun does become a little less useful, but there's still enemies like, uh... The card men, who gun really is pretty effective against. Unless you're card man of clubs, I think he's resistant against it. I'm sure he's resistant. There's a reason I'm killing these guys with Steve, because Steve needs 2,000 experience before we can do anything. And he's almost there, so I might as well. All monsters defeated! Dungeon floor clear! I set a new wipeout record. I got a medal. That's good. I'm trying to collect medals indirectly, so... Whatever ones I can get during the main story until the point I'm collecting medals, the less I have to do in videos that I'm collecting medals. And yes, I'm only buying one thing with those medals, and you'll see it when I get it. A lot of people are expecting it, I'm sure. But it makes the last dungeon so much more fun. Dragon Slayer! Oh, that's great. I'll try to go and show you a dragon, if I can find one on the dungeon floor. At least one will spawn, so... But I have not particularly a lot of time left. Might have to see one next video! But if you thought the little dragons were annoying, let's go meet a daddy dragon. Daddy dragons are twice as annoying. They're like two baby dragons in one.
Monica, go slay a dragon. Show them that you're the Dovahkiin! Except you can't beat the yo-yo robot. Only Steve can. And he's still got a hit elf on me. What an annoying jackass. Yo-yo robots still aren't my friends, as you can see. We're going back to more, like, basic enemies of the dungeon. Dungeons are random like this. It's like, their floor, like, layouts don't make any sense. They're going to introduce a new enemy on this floor, but they're going to use a lot of old ones. And annoying ones, apparently. That bomb didn't do any damage to him. That bomb barely did any damage to him. I mean, he can't hurt me decently, but, uh, now he can. I guess that works, actually. I, fire makes sense. He's made of wood. His wooden robot would be burned to, the, to ash if I was using fire like that. All my breads are gone. Well, the four breads I had gotten from that chest used up. Poor breads. I can't hold any more repair powders, game. I just want bread. That's a golem, not a dragon. Game's tricking me now. It, it, it wants me to think, oh, there's a dragon around the corner and things are going to hit the fan. But it's not. It's not a dragon at all. I love how he canceled his own attack to block, even though I didn't send it flying off yet. The AI got a little derpy there. I'm going to block it. Oh, I'm going to attack you. I'm going to block. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I can't figure out what to do. You're confusing me. This is a good way to level up the Platinum Band, all right. And I stood right outside of his attack range. Good job, Ku. You actually did something right for once. Yeah, there you go. Victory! Oh no, Maximilian. Get out your iPod and start a punch in this fool. Wow, he actually didn't get a chance to attack me this time. I'm s I'm stunned and shocked. I didn't think that it was ever possible for me. Kill these mass tribemen. Kill them every day. Oh. Oh. He's playing jerk face with me. So, colors, guys. We have more orange paint. Should I start using paint to paint shit? Or should I wait until the next chapter, where painting shit actually might pay off? I want to know your opinions now! I mean, if you want to see shit in the town, like, done a certain way, I, I will listen to what to do. With this one, not so much. Balance Valley has to be strictly what it is. But the next town, we can build any way as long as it meets certain minimum requirements. You guys want to, like, tell me what to do? Hey, hell, I'll build shit. I'll do it. I'll get the materials off screen, and then when it gets, like, the next episode, you can watch your town be built. Make, make, make a JPEG. Send me a, send me a GIF. Show me a picture of the map, lay like, the, how to lay out the town. Draw it in an MS Paint. I, I won't mind. And that's Dragon Up the Road. Isn't that great? Cue Skyrim battle music now. Not really. He, they're not that tough. I'm almost out of time, so this has been Impact with Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment next time. Dragon slaying. Oh no, he froze me in time. Now you know why dragons suck. This never goes away. I should, re well, unless you know, you use the throbbing cherry or a mighty cure, but otherwise you're just a sitting duck and he'll wreck your day. Like he's doing to me right now. And his fire particles are lagging the shit out of the screen. I just eat one of those cheeses. And Dragon has been slain, so subscribe, rate, and comment for more Dragon deaths. If you're a Dragon lover, I apologize. But they needed to die. And I will see you guys all next time. With this game. Oh, no speed up, please.